Hello everyone, and welcome back to LogCraft, episode 3. I'm over here in the shopping district for this episode because I have a very important meeting with a few people in a little bit. We are discussing plans to open up a sort of business where we're going to have a bunch of shops, make a ton of diamonds, and then I can get rich and I'm no longer going to be poor because I just joined the server. Sounds good to me. But before that, I have just been wandering around the shopping district. I checked my elytra thing from the last episode. No one's offered that yet. But I guess that was kind of expected. But I, I was just looking around. There's a ton of mob noises. And I feel like it might be coming from down here. So I'm just going to take a little... Oh yeah, this is the problem. Who made this? Oh no, there's a baby. And two creepers. Looks like there's already a few torches, but not enough. So I'm going to get a few more down here. I wonder why this was even built. Maybe maybe there was a cave down here and it, and it had to get like covered up or something. But now it's completely covered up. But yeah, my meeting is going to be between me, Illinois Jones... Cave YT and Bolt Jace. You guys already probably know Illinois Jones, but the other two people are probably new to you guys. And we're planning on having our meeting right here in the shopping district, possibly in one of their shops. Well, now I guess it's just time to wait until they're ready. So here we are for our meeting, and I yeah, I guess welcome. were we yeah, were we supposed to dress were we supposed to dress formally? Uh. Well, uh, I'm in robes, but... I mean, I'm like, in a sweatshirt, so... I mean, Good enough. Bold, Good enough. So I, I think I'm okay. the most formal out of all of you guys. I mean, I, I guess you're right. Yes, yeah. <laughs> okay, so what are we here to discuss? So, business. Um, yes, of course. Fireworks Inc., our business. We're going to change the name to Jake Bryan Industries and then yes. invite you two to work with us to expand from just fireworks into many other sales. Yes. yes. Guys, guys, guys. All in favor of calling it Jake Bryan Industries, say aye. 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 It's three to one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. No, okay. I need money. Uh, I'm coming back. Oh. <laughs> okay well so i had an idea for our first shop so i was well, just watching a digital smiles video and he said he needed a lot of black dye so i was thinking we make a wither rose shop yes we, yes yes we make a wither rose farm i think that's a good idea i think we should also make a beacon shop yes that would be that's that would be very great wait everyone just shake their head everyone just yeah. <laughs> Let's all go to the shopping district and look at the, who we no, can outbuy. We have their, we, no, outbuy. we should have yeah, their let's, heads let's go on to the shopping bolts. district and plan some things out there. I yeah. Think, let's go. Let's go. Let's go there. Where's your portal? Oh, wait, is it in? Yeah. This is, this is our shop that we already own. As yeah. you can see, it's Too already small. sold out. It's sold out right now. Too small. Okay. Let it between us. Let them between us. Doot. Doot. Yes. I bought the rockets, so I get the only <laughs> you, you bought the rockets from your own company. Yeah, I, I bought, I bought the, the last... There's actually only four rockets, but I spent a diamond, and I guess I just got a diamond back, so <laughs> I just got three rockets. Wow. I have an idea. What if we build, like, a big skyscraper? But yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, like we could... Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's we, let's make our own, like, island with a giant building yeah. that sells all yeah, of our stuff. Yeah, There's we, already yeah. elevated land here. Yeah. So we could, like... We could just bring it up a little bit and make an island. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. I, I could do that. Like, 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 we can have a giant skyscraper, and then each floor has a different shop on it. Uh-huh. So... Because we're a new company, we're gonna have a little company game right now. Tag. Tag? Wait, what? So that was a pretty nice meeting. If you want to see that full game of Tag, check out Cave YT's video. I'm gonna put that in the description. So if you want to check out our game of Tag, that I definitely wasn't it half the time. 
you can go see that in his video. But anyways, after that whole meeting was done, I went on a huge grinding session. Most importantly, I went mining, and now I am not that poor anymore. Uh, let's let's just not let's not talk about all the other stuff that I got. But if we go up here, you can see that as well as going mining, I also finished the enchanting table. I got a little bit of lapis in there, and I think. I think I will actually enchant my axe and shovel right now. Unbreaking 3, efficiency 4. That's not too shabby. And there's another efficiency 4 right here. That one was just efficiency 4. Okay. Not bad. But now it's time to enchant some of this armor. And I got three protection books. I don't think I'm going to put these into the enchanting table. Actually, I might as well... I might as well give them, like, the one level enchant. Because, yeah, there's no reason not to. And I actually need to get mending on these, because these are wearing down. Ooh. I'm going to get some respiration on here. Oh. <laughs> that, that was a lot more than respiration. Um... I'd rather get protection four on that. Uh, let's see, what do we have on here? Feather falling two. Anything new here? I could have gotten thorns, but I guess I can get that in a book instead if I really need thorns. But it's not super important that I get it. Oh, I forgot to put this lapis away. Hello. You trying to get to me? Too bad you can't make it up here. Okay, so now let's get some protection for on here. And let's get some protection for on here. And what other books do we have? Unbreaking 3, Mending, Unbreaking 3, Mending. I guess let's get Unbreaking 3 on these two pieces of armor as well. And I am out of levels. I'm not going to get more levels quite yet, but I do want to make my base a little bit bigger, fix it up a little bit in this episode. So, I still don't have any stone, but I do have all this cobblestone, and I mean, oh yeah, I have, I have all that too, and all that, that's a lot. Uh, so, if I stick all this into some chest that feeds into that, then we can put these coal blocks in there. Uh, as long as I get a hopper and two chests, should be fine. I don't want to use up the rest. Actually, it should be fine. I have I have a lot of diamonds now. I can afford to get more. Alright, so let's just break this open. And... Oh wait, I need to get myself a hopper. We can just plop all this in, and it will start smelting up. And that's going to take a while. But... Something that we're going to have to wait for. Those are my torches. Oh, I also need I also need an output chest. I just realized that. I can hook this up right here. Hook this up here. And stone should start coming in. Oh, this this coal block lasts forever. Wait, what? Oh. Is it really already smelted that much? No, it's smelted 13 pieces. Guess I'm gonna have to wait for that. But in the meantime, you know, there is no meantime. I'm just gonna AFK here until all the stone is done. Ah, oh, I need a super smelter. I'm just about ready to start building, but before I do, we need to address something. This shop, it's not, it's not doing so well. So, 
I said I would end this on Monday, but it's currently Wednesday, and we do not have any offers. So I think I'm going to change this shop up a little bit, and maybe I'll just make it so that uh, I'll buy an Elytra from somebody. So let's let's do that now. There we go. Now we just have a stand where someone can... Just give me an elytra for 30 diamonds. It's a lot simpler. I don't know why I didn't do this idea in the first place, but oh well. It's there now. So let's see if I can get an elytra. But anyways, now it's time to do a little bit of base upgrading. So, montage begin. Let's go. mountain is now fully in. I would say this is looking a lot better than before, but I still need to do a bit more tweaking with it. I think I want to try to get it to blend with the top of this a little more, but for the time being this looks good. I'm also going to I'm also planning on adding some more like windows similar to this thing cuz I think that would look really cool. And then, like I was saying in the previous episode, I want to build a garden area in here. But as well as the exterior... Oh. I guess... I guess there's a creeper in here. Good thing creeper griefing is off. Uh, I'm assuming that's right here. I'll just put a torch here right now. It's fine. But yeah, look at this. This is a nice interior that we have going for the enchanting room. And I really like how the combination of fences and lanterns looks for the interior. It kind of gives it like a mine shafty look, which kind of suits the, the cave a lot. And I, I really like it. So, so this is basically the general style that I'm going to go with for all of the rooms. Whoa, Illinois Jones is uh, fighting the Wither right now. I think he's d doing his uh, Wither Rose farm right now. So after he's done with that, I'm going to... What was that noise? <laughs> uh, I think that was uh, the, the Wither noise or something. That's weird. I didn't know that that happened, like, wherever you are. Oh, well, like I was saying, he's making his Wither Rose farm, I believe. So after he's done with that... I will contact him. He'll he'll get me some wither roses because this is for the company. And I'm going to start work on the wither skeleton farm. Wait a second. Oh, Illinois Jones' farm is working. So I might actually be able to get my hands on some wither roses right now. Ugh. And once again, my lack of elytra is hurting me. I'm going to go back to the shopping district and check to see... If someone has given me an elytra, I did change up my shop a little. Please, no. No elytra. Okay. That, that was... I guess that was kind of expected. How am I going to get my hands on an elytra? I mean, this, this one got an elytra, and this one's only 25 diamonds. So, yeah, the Wither Skeleton Farm is going to be in the next episode, definitely. <laughs> Some of this stone is still smelting. We still got like two stacks of it left that are still going. 
<laughs> now I don't even need that because I have a silk touch pickaxe. I guess it's time to end the episode. But since it's a little bit short, I'm going to end with a bit of a presentation sort of thing. Because I finally got the perfect idea for what I want to do for my mega base. And I will show it to you guys now so you guys can picture it. And hopefully you'll get a good idea of what I want to do. So, I'm going to kind of build it around this mountain. That's the first thing I'm going to do. And the first step is I'm going to build a large, a very, very big pillar that stretches way up into the sky. And at the very top of that, it's going to be kind of um, like a little dome thing that's a not not little it's it's gonna be a giant dome that like sticks out at the top inside of the dome it's gonna be in the middle is gonna be a giant mob farm and then I'm going to have a ton of different elements of uh, customizability to do with this mob farm below the middle the central mob farm I'll have an area where I can turn on and off killing them with my sword or just uh, regular AFK. Because if I kill them with the sword, I can get XP and I can get a looting effect, but uh, I can't just uh, AFK it. So yeah, I'm going to have an area where you can toggle that down below, and then on each side I'm going to have something correlated with each specific mob. Feeding through the entire thing is going to be a sorting system, and that's going to sort all of the drops that I get from this. So on one side, it's going to be where all the rotten flesh goes, and I'm going to have a bunch of villagers that I can trade rotten flesh with for a ton of emeralds, and then maybe some other villagers that I can trade the emeralds for other things. Um, on the skeleton side, I will have all the bones go into there and I'll have some of them they'll feed into a chest where I can convert them into bone meal and then feed them into a bunch of bone meal related farms so I can get a ton of other materials from that as well on the creeper side we'll have all the gunpowder feeding into there and we'll also have a sugarcane farm and we can get paper gunpowder combine it make a ton of rockets and then on the last side that's going to just be where all the other drops go and it's just going to be a giant storage system for all the other drops so like the string and like the witch drops and that sort of thing it seems pretty ambitious but I, I'll see if I can do it I, I think that's a pretty good goal to set for myself and I'm honestly really excited to start work on it but I can't really do that quite yet. I mean, who knows? We might we might be able to start in the next episode. Who knows? But with that all said and done, it's time to end this episode. So I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment. Comment's not as important. You know I have to say that every single time. But yeah, do all those things. And if you do, thank you. A lot. Yeah. So, that's all. And goodbye.